Welcome back for another video and today I've got some big news to share with you guys as you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title I did get a new pickup which is pretty exciting but I want to share some other stuff with you I've been pretty busy around the house and haven't really kept you guys up to date on everything that's been going on so we'll start at the back here and give you guys a little bit of a tour as to what I've been doing and uh, I've been staying busy that's for sure I've been uh, replacing all of the trim on my shed. This is a really bad place to show you. I'm going to replace a fence that was right here with this segment that we took out in a, in a video that I did probably a couple months ago. But replaced all of the trim. I'm going to still be caulking all the seams and all that stuff still. I ran out so I need to go to the store and get some more. But all of the siding, all of the trim on this shed was completely wood rot. And I've actually got some pieces cut up over here I can show you. But like I was pulling it off and like I toss it on the ground and it just snap in half. It was all pine and uh, that was part of the problem. <laughs> See, that's what like all of the trim looked like. It was just straight up wood rot. You can just crumble it. So it was time to get replaced. And so I'm going to get that caulked up. And we're going to be painting it soon and have it match the house. I don't even know if I've shown you guys the house yet. House got painted, so that's pretty cool. And then I've got uh, some power washing to do still, but I've been power washing off the patio. This has some like really crusty red paint on it, and uh, it was just kind of flaking off. Like you can see here where I haven't power washed. Like it doesn't look great, so I want a fresh start. And to do that, I had to get the power washer out. But some places aren't really coming off as easy as others. So if you guys have any tips for how to remove like paint from patios, drop it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it and get some advice from you guys because the power washer is doing pretty good, but there's some places where it's just stuck and I can't get it off. It's been big projects around here all spring and summer trying to get things fixed up. I started a little vegetable garden too. Check these out. These are my tomatoes. It's got some little green ones in there growing so one tomato plant here's a second one this thing has been growing for like a month and it's not even red yet but we're starting to get a lot of tomatoes popping up over here some back there so that's exciting and then this is my jalapeno plant I don't know if you guys can see I've got a few jalapenos in there like there's one there's another one I think there's Two. Oh no, there's another one right there. So I'm getting quite a few jalapenos going. I'm pretty pumped about the jalapenos because my game plan here is one, I'm going to try and make some salsa with it, but I'm also going to clean them and freeze them and have them ready for dove and teal season. So then we can make jalapeno poppers with uh, dove and teal meat. So that's always like a, a tradition that we have. Gotta stop and tie my shoe. It's been untied like the whole time I've been filming. Other than that, I don't I don't think there's any other updates around the house. Um, just kind of been going at these projects a little bit at a time as I can and hopefully they all turn out okay. But seriously, if you guys have any advice for that concrete paint stuff and getting that off, please let me know. I'm really curious as to how to do that and make it look really good. So as most of you guys know, I drove a 2005 Toyota Tacoma and I've had it since 2016 and I put 60,000 miles on it after I bought it and it eventually ended at 213,000 miles and I had one day I was driving home from work and just the, the column was just shaking real bad and the engine light was flashing so I took it in had the code read it said misfire on cylinder 4 replaced the coil and it was running fine and then like three weeks later check engine light comes on again and it says misfire on cylinder 4. I'm like what could possibly be happening? It's probably spark plugs but I'm going to get it checked out. Turns out it was a blown head gasket and uh, the shop told me that it was time to replace the engine or sell the truck. So I sold the truck. I traded it in actually. The thing that really sucks is I was so pumped about the Tacoma. I really love that truck. There's some few things that I didn't like about it and the biggest one was that it was only two-wheel drive and that thing was an absolute boss. I only got stuck a couple of times and as you guys have seen in some of my videos I go through some pretty rough stuff and uh, that truck held up really well and it didn't get stuck too often. I had one time 
I got stuck in the mud trying to chase some geese, went down a minimum maintenance road, wasn't a good idea at the time, and uh, kind of paid for that. And, and then I, after I got stuck, I realized that I had a final, well this was when I was still in college, I had a final at like one o'clock that day, so I had like three hours to get pulled out and get back to uh, take my final. But that truck, it was a good truck, and it lasted me 60,000 miles, and died at 213,000. And it's just a sad day to say goodbye to it. But this upgrade, it's definitely an upgrade. But I want to have a moment of silence to remember the Tacoma. Are you guys ready to see it? I, I bet you are. Here it is. This is the new pickup that I got. 2018 F-150 four-wheel drive XL with the uh, STX package. Pretty dang sweet. It's got pretty decent tires on it, which is nice. And here's here's another perk right here. Check this out. Spray in bed liner. That's going to be perfect for all the stuff that goes in and out of here. Generators, ice rippers, decoys, kayaks, you name it. It's going to be perfect. So when I was shopping for the truck, I was like, there's a few things I want to look for. I want four-wheel drive, I want a four-door, and I want a tow package so I can pull the decoy trailer. So I was looking, trying to find everything, and I was trying to find like 2016 or newer, so then I'd have like lower miles and a good solid vehicle that'll last a long time. So I got lucky and found this one and jumped on it while I could. 22,000 miles, 2018 F-150, pretty slick, I'm excited. So, pretty basic, I mean, it's an F-150. If you guys have ridden in an F-150, it's gonna look pretty much the same as what you've seen in previous F-150s. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles in it, but it's got enough to get the job done. And uh, it's got cup holders, steering wheel, uh, a door, windows, all that kind of stuff, so. Like I said, nothing fancy. I mean, it's a serious upgrade from the Tacoma because in the Tacoma I only had like a CD player and stuff. So now I can like hook my phone up here, have directions, GPS, and all that stuff, which is going to be really nice. Uh, didn't have that previously, but this is the XL package. So it doesn't have everything, but that's fine by me. I don't need everything. I just need four wheels and some gas in it and getting it going and not getting stuck in the snow. The thing about driving that Tacoma and having it only be two wheel drive was when things got bad on the roads with snow and ice, I was always scared to go out and I, I didn't want to miss those days of hunting and I, I kind of had to because it wasn't safe for me to be on the road slipping and sliding around, risking getting stuck. That's never a good thing. So I'm really, really, really happy that we got the four wheel drive, we're going to be able to go a lot of places with this thing and get out in the weather conditions when the duck hunting is phenomenal. That is exciting and uh, I can't wait to see where we go with this truck. But like I said, pretty basic. It's, it's an F-150. It's got four seats, five seats, center console, all kinds of fun stuff in here. Cup holders, way to hook up my phone to the truck, which that's pretty sweet. Got a ginormous center console that could fit like a lot of stuff in there. The thing's huge. And uh, passenger seat, glove box, pretty basic. Now moving on to the back seat, which is pretty sweet. It's absolutely massive. So got power back there, air conditioning, windows, all that kind of stuff. Seats lift up and just a crazy amount of room in here, which is pretty cool. So hopefully, maybe someday there's going to be like a dog crate right here. Possibly, that'd be really cool within like the next few years year maybe get a dog crate in there so yep it's gonna hold a lot of stuff be able to make a lot of trips which I am really excited about I'm excited about getting this thing on the road and taking it hunting we're getting really close to hunting season so trying to be prepared for everything coming up this fall so gonna take a lot of road trips in this thing I think and uh, not be scared about something breaking or anything like that
So yeah, that is the new rig, the new truck, the new investment. It's going to be fun, and it's going to take me a lot of places to go hunt. So let me know what you guys think. You guys drive one of these like this? I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it because it's my first time ever like buying a vehicle like this. So big moves on my part, and uh, couldn't do it without you guys. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, I am doing a giveaway in there, so be sure to check that out and enter in the giveaway. I'm giving away a Drake hoodie, which is going to be pretty sweet for whoever wins that. You're going to get a lot of use out of that thing. And uh, be, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hunting season's getting closer and closer. I've got some good, saucy content coming your way. And uh, you can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I've got for today. I want to give you guys a quick update on everything that's going on around the house, getting the new truck and all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.